welcome to Career Day here at the Counseling Center. I want to be the editor of The New Yorker and the youngest freelance journalist to be published in The New York Times, LA Times, and The Chicago Tribune. Okay. I've got to get into Northwestern. Never heard of it. High school. Society's bright idea to put all their aggressive, naive youth into one environment to torment and emotionally scar each other for life. She smells like gluten. <laughs> you need to be on antidepressants. No way. You were on ADD medication as a kid. I thought I was just really calm and mature for my age. I hid it in your food. I've been the president of the Writers Club, the editor of the newspaper, just to better my chances of getting into that school. Vicki, you have your uh, weather report ready. Yeah, it's cloudy. It's been challenging. If you want to impress them, you're going to have to submit something else. Like what? What about a literary magazine? A literary magazine. You can inspire others to write while writing yourself. Absolutely not. No. Everybody hates you. Your dad tells me you're quite popular at school. <laughs> Just don't be too hard on yourself. Personal space, man. OK. Operation Clovergate's in effect. So many people to blackmail, so little time. Check these out, right? Everybody has something to hide. Two, four, six, eight. Heard you like to fornicate. <laughs> so what do you want from us? I want a literary submission from each of you. Here is my entry for a magazine. It must be really nice to have plans to journey out into the world, but some of us don't have that capability. Why are you stuck here? In what grade do we stop believing in ourselves? Well, what grade do we just stop believing, period? Life comes at you fast. It runs through your body and tries to escape and be expressed in any way possible. In a way, it's a lot like lightning. I did write a short story. Fantastic, let's hear it. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. You didn't write that. It's in my handwriting. 